We've made a decision to have our test driver for the Ziod in the initial stages to be Lucas Ordonez, uh, someone that five years ago was test driving his PlayStation. He's now going to be test driving one of the most advanced racing cars of 2014. So we're very pleased that someone that's come through the GT Academy ladder is now going to be the first person to drive the car, but also given the responsibility to start developing the car. To be the first driver uh, driving and testing the Ziod RC, uh, it's been flat out for the Nissan Zero team developing the car since uh, Le Mans 24 hours this year. So, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be amazing and uh, a hard work, no? It's, it's when, when all starts, no? When the car is on track for the first time and, uh, yeah, I'll do the best. Uh, I'm looking forward to see how the, the electric uh, drivetrain uh, works and, uh, you know, uh, to try to develop uh, as, as best as we can to, to make the best for, for Le Mans in, in 2014. We keep talking about Lucas Ordonez as a gamer. Um, he's not a gamer anymore, he's a professional racing driver and he's driven a lot of different cars and that gives him really the skills to understand something that will be very, very different. This car is going to be different to anything anyone's driven before in terms of some of the systems and the powertrain that we've got in it. So why not get a guy that's very adaptable to be the first test driver of that car? Yeah, absolutely. I had uh, the opportunity to test the successful uh, Nissan uh, Leaf in, in the roads and also to, to test on track the, the Nismo Leaf RC and uh, we proved that uh, uh, we are Nissan is, 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 the, is the number one in, in electric power uh, now in the world and obviously uh, the, the ZRC is uh, our next big step no? uh, in the electric uh, uh, train for, for, for Nissan and for the autom automotive uh, industry. So, you know, uh, we, we're going to work uh, really hard to, to, to have a car um, over 300 kilometers per hour in, in electric power. So it's going to be a uh, very exciting and unique experience and uh, obviously it's uh, proving again that Nissan is leading in, in electric power. Yeah. The great thing for me about Lucas being chosen as the first test driver of the Ziod is we join the dots. We've got GT Academy, we've got this amazing technology, um, groundbreaking, uh, real engineering masterpiece that we've got working with Ben Bowlby and our guys in Japan on the powertrain. And we can put these two things together and show people that we're not just innovative on the racetrack and with our car technology, but also in the way we go about doing things, i.e. choosing someone from the virtual world and in five years making them a test driver of this sort of exciting car. It's really exciting times for us here at Nissan. Well, uh, you know, uh, even after winning GT Academy, who will think that uh, five years later I will do a, a racing season like uh, this year, no? Competing uh, at Le Mans 24 hours in LMP2, finishing in the podium, competing in blank paint, leading the championship, uh, competing in FIE GT with a GTR Nismo GT3, uh, competing in uh, Super GT1 race in Suzuka, also uh, testing the V8 supercar in Australia and also competing in two races in the Pirelli World Challenge. And now I get the opportunity to test the, the CRRC for first time, uh, to test an electric power car for first time and, and to, to be the first driver. So what a year, what a season for me as a GT Academy winner five years ago. So absolutely amazing no thanks to nissan i'm here now in in us and uh yeah looking forward for for the future which is coming coming on and uh yeah do the best for it <laughs>